In this video, we will demonstrate how to repackage any source installation like Firefox, TabXZ, into MSI. For this, I will use PaySuite application packaging solution. You can get a free trial at paysuite.com. Launch MSI generator. Click Capture installation. The wizard shows active non-essential processes and services. They produce a lot of system noise such as registry entries, temporary and log files. This system noise influences the purity of our package. Thus, we strongly recommend to temporarily disable these services before continuing. Also, if you click on this link, you will find capturing recommendations. Next, you have to select a capturing method. There are two methods, monitoring, which monitors changes to the file system and registry in real time. It's a faster method. Snapshotting is more configurable and it's based on the comparing of two taken snapshots. Use this method to continue capturing after system restart. We will use monitoring for this demo. At this step, you can set the name of the project and choose exclusion filters. They filter out unnecessary resources which your operating system produce during the capturing. In fact, MSI generator will mark these resources as excluded and they will not get into your package, but you can review them and include back at any time. Run installers of the application which you want to capture. You can launch installer manually or click select and run. Now select your source installation, in our case Mozilla Firefox. Follow the installation dialogs and complete your source installation. If your source installation consists of more than one installer, which you need to merge into one package, just run these installers at this step. All changes to the file system and registry will be captured. Once the source installation is completed and all application configurations are done, check this checkbox and click Next. Now the project has been created, resources have been analyzed according to the selected filters. At the completion step, you can select saving options and review the project summary. Let's proceed with default settings. Files in this list are locked or missing and cannot be copied to the project folder. Usually such files are system noise from non-essential services, your antivirus and so on. Just click finish to continue creating the project and skip copying these files. At this stage, you can build a package from the created project. For this, on the package MSI tab, click Build MSI. But we strongly recommend to review the captured resources and manually exclude those which do not belong to your captured application. Why is it so necessary? Because the pure package ensures its successful deployment. Sometimes a package with the captured, for instance, Windows update files fails during the installation because it tries to write the data to the system protected folder or registry. Let's start from the Files tab. This tab displays captured files and folders where system folders have the gray icon. Resources that were automatically excluded by the selected exclusion filters are crossed out and highlighted in yellow. Our task is to go through the folder tree and with the use of common sense discover resources that do not look like the application related files. For example, Windows Defender temporary files cannot be a part of Firefox application and we have to exclude them. To exclude the necessary resources, select Exclude from the context menu. If you have excluded too much and the application has stopped working, you can open this project at any time and include back the necessary files. For this, select Include from the context menu. Also, at this step, you can create a folder, import files, move resources to a new location, and etc. On the shortcuts and apps tab for MSI, we have the same folder structure as on the files tab, but there we have only shortcuts. Similarly to the previous tab, you can exclude unnecessary shortcuts selecting respective context menu item, and you can include them back. Also, you can invoke properties to manage shortcut details. On the Registry tab, you can review and modify captured registry entries. The structure, behavior and appearance of this view identical to the Files tab. With the use of the context menu, you can exclude, include, move and edit resources. Also here you can import additional registry from the rec file. Go through the registry case and exclude those that do not look like the application related registry. 
As example, Windows Definer, Updates, Search cannot be a part of Firefox application and we have to exclude them. However, our predefined filters already exclude such type of resources. Next, the System Resources tab displays captured services, printers and environment variables. We go to one service, Mozilla Maintenance. We can manage its details such as name, description, start parameter or error control and so on. Go back to the package tab. On MSI tab you can manage application details, summary information and MSI settings such as compression type, use of advertised tables and so on. To manage MSI settings click edit. On the general tab you can select basic MSI template. This is an ordinary empty package based on which MSI generator will create all future packages. You can adapt this MSI template to your needs. Also you can choose compression type and other settings. On the summary information tab you can specify the full summary information which will be propagated to every created MSI package. On the registry tab you can control how advertising information and the DBC entries will be saved into your MSI package and how service will be installed. And other settings on tabs below. Click Build MSI to generate MSI package. MSI package created in the project folder. Click Go to to open it in Windows Explorer. Here is our package. Thanks for watching.